We're here, Ghost is here, and we've got Stormtrooper in tow. So this is the maiden voyage, getting to know the marriage between the new vehicle and the competition cook slash concession trailer. And uh, we've got everything hooked up. We are working on adjusting our trailer brake. Um, and we're just kind of getting the feel for it. So, so far, so good. We've only gone a couple hundred yards down the street from my house. And I'm just a little bit, still a little nervous in getting used to this package. Now, first and foremost, let me say this. As a tow vehicle, I think I made the best choice ever. I can literally not even tell this vehicle's the trailer's back here. It pulls extremely smooth, extremely efficient. And this is what I was looking for in a pool vehicle for what I have in this trailer. 6,000 pounds, a lot of weight, a lot of important equipment. So we needed something that we would be able to maneuver, maneuver easily. And as we're maneuvering now through our residential area with no problem. Um, so I'm gonna get it on the highway, get it up to speed and see how it feels. Stay tuned. A few moments later. So almost immediately, I noticed the difference. The downshift with weight is different. The pull off, everything is different with 6,000 pounds in tow. Uh, this vehicle feels extremely safe. Uh, I think now my only issue is dialing in the trailer brake. When I stop, I feel a little bit of a clunk and you guys can probably see, see it as we're, when we stop, you can see it rock a little bit. I think that's just a trailer brake issue. My ball is the right size, the hitch is the correct length and everything, there's no sag. So we're just gonna have to get a feel for it and uh, probably talk to one or two of our experts or one of our gurus at hand and see how they feel about it. But I think we got a good combo here. Let's, uh, let's get it up to a little bit higher speed. So roll the windows up, turn on the AC, just did a 60 mile an hour pull down the road. It feels great. Um, I think the only issues I'm having are minor issues. A little bit of a trailer bob, a little bit of up and down and going on. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but again, I'm gonna reference to a few guys who know who are very big experts on pulling a lot of weight. Um, and just make sure everything's secure. Uh, I check, I've checked several times to make sure nothing's shifting on the trailer itself and everything looks good to go. Uh, so this feel is probably just something within the hitch uh, or within the ball, hopefully. So we're going to inspect that a little bit more and uh, get a look at it. Moments later. I made it safely to my aunt's house. I'm going to get out, check everything, make sure everything's good to go. And we're going to take it right back to the house and park it. Um, but so far, I can say power on hand is most definitely there. Uh, it was said to me I wouldn't know that the trail was back there. I must say that was the truth. Um, this thing gets up to 60 with no problem. The turbo responds right on time. It kicks up the horsepower, it kicks up the pressure. When braking, it downshifts properly. This vehicle is exactly what we needed to get us efficiently where we need to go A to Z and improve so many things that we have going on. And we're excited about it. All right, we are here taking a look around the trailer. I can notice there is a slight drop when we attach the trailer, which isn't bad. It's just a slight dip, nothing really noticeable, but you can see it from here. It's not a bad drop. So I don't think we're gonna need airbags. I think we're gonna be good to go. So that was something we also were very curious about. Um, the kit that is on here, I don't know if it's original suspension or not, it works. It's most definitely ready to do whatever I put it to. So that's a A++ in my book. We're gonna get this thing back to the house, get it staged, and get it set up, and we'll talk about how we feel about everything. Mm -hmm. 